Hey guys, Chris here, and I am at Mockingbird Farm Sanctuary, and look who I'm with da, da, da. today. So this is the farm that you have been going to every week for the past almost year, a year now. Not every week, but as whenever I can, I'm here. We did another video here last year, and we kind of went through. It was at the beginning stages. It's a little further along now, but it's still just a baby sanctuary. So do you want to go show us some of the new animals there and what you're working on, I guess? Let's yeah, do let's, let's do, do that. Let's do it. Oh, here's some of the behind the scenes. -ers. Janelle is the owner here. <laughs> Hi, everybody. John, you don't need to put sound effects in. No, keep the sound effects. I like this. Hey! Oh, they're gonna be right here. Yep, they are. You wanna go first? Take out the flame for the night. Luca, you're a well-behaved young man. He is a good boy. I like your braid. Thanks. I like your braid. So they know where to go on their own. Aww. So I just, I just let them do their thing. These dogs are huge. Yeah, those are big indies. Luca likes to take a bite of honey's dinner before he goes to <laughs> He's like, I'm gonna take some of that. And John's going to work. Are these guys a lot more friendly around people now? Yeah, oh yeah. Here, watch the way that she she does her thing when she eats. Okay. Go ahead. Oh, you can dump it in over there, wherever. Over here? So what are these guys' names? This is Peggy. You're Peggy. Peggy. I'm gonna put her in the bottom. <laughs> She's like stirring it with her foot. Oh, we got the other foot now. Hi. This is honey. Oh, honey. honey She's a bird. beautiful blonde. How often do you actually come out here now? Well, once I started getting days off at my normal job, I started coming out trying to come out every other week. Now I have two days off in a row, so I'm gonna try to come out every Tuesday and Wednesday because there's so much building that needs to be done. Last fall, we put up all this temporary fencing for the horses and uh, we just, we have so much work to do. So a little bit each each time we're here. And right now, just keeping, keeping everybody fed and alive is, is a full-time job for just Joe and Janelle. So whenever I come out, it's like, okay, what kind of projects can we get started on? And uh, it's, it's fun. Do you want to go meet the goats real quick? Can uh, our viewers expect to see you in the kitchen anytime soon doing any kind of recipes? I have a couple on the, on, the, uh, on the back burner that I tested a few months ago. So yeah, probably maybe, maybe in two weeks I'll uh, do like a Monday night before I come out here. We'll do a couple of videos and then you guys can watch me cook. If I even remember how, I don't. I mean, that sounds yummy. <laughs> So I'm told that the goats and the chicken are gonna all do the same thing that they do every night, which is, it's gonna be cute if, it, if they do it. They're all this cute little herd together, the three of them flock together. And the chicken, look at her right now, she's sitting on her bucket. Okay. Um, the, the three of them just follow each other into the barn for, for numb nights time and for dinner. So they follow, they know their little routine and they know, they usually know where to go, but there's a lot of people here right now, so they'll be a little distracted. Yeah, she does. Yeah. Hi. Mike literally <laughs> <What the> mad. <laughs> <laughs> before I come out here every morning before oh, he's I bring eating my leg over here. And make sure that uh, everything is spread away. <laughs> Where are you going? Where are you going? Hi. Bring I like these goats. Yeah. Can I pick the chicken up or no? Oh yeah. <laughs> I just make sure I grab her her wings kind of tight and and, yeah. and hold her secure like oh. that because if her if and hold her I mean pretty firmly otherwise she doesn't feel she feel like she's gonna fall and she'll probably fly away. It's the, the beginning of her wing. There you go. Oh. All these guys know and love. I'm holding a ball eagle. Nope, it's a chicken. I got a chicken. She is a white crested black Polish bantam chicken. So this is Ferris. The white one is Ferris and the black one is Forest. 
and they are just a couple months old. They are La Mancha goats, which is, um, I believe is an American breed of dairy goat. And um, because they are males, um, typically um, in the dairy industry, there's not much, uh, you know, room for them unless they're gonna be um, breeding goats. So we, we um, took them and they became weathers and they'll be living here for the rest of their lives. And they won't ever um, be slaughtered for meat, they'll just no love. So I get really bad migraine headaches and I, um, I go to an incredible um, massage therapist. He's, he does trigger point therapy and, and long story short, I was on my way um, to leave his home office and we let his dogs out to go to the bathroom and they started chasing something outside and he lives in the middle of nowhere, like really in the middle of nowhere. And I, we run outside and the dogs weren't chasing a cat or a wild animal, they were chasing a chicken. And uh, we walked outside and the chicken, which happens to be Bobby, just uh, <laughs> just literally came right up to us. There's a goat in the frame. There's a goat bite in the camera. <laughs> <laughs> and the, the chicken just came right up to us and it was evening and I, you know, we knew for sure that she wasn't gonna survive if she hung out in the middle of nowhere with um, all the wildlife around. So I decided to, we decided to put her in a box and take her home and we looked for her owner and where she came from. I have absolutely no idea where she came from. We posted all kinds of lost and found flyers and <clears throat> made all kinds of posts and it was just meant to be. So, so she lives here on the farm now for the rest of her life and she hangs out with the goats. What? Bovi Juan Kenobi. <laughs> so this is this is still a work in progress. This is only my second time here. What, what else can you say for like the future of Mockingbird and where you're at? Well, you just made a website yeah. and a Facebook page yeah. now, so we'll post that uh, on the link below this video. There's so much going on. Literally, when I come here, we'll do all the chores and then we'll try to game plan of the next big project. We've always got a new paddock or a new shelter or hay to stack or something that we're making. And it's hard because- Fencing to put up. Yeah, even, even what? Six months ago, there's there are people trying to contact saying, hey, can you take this in? Can you take Every this day. animal in? And it's hard, we want to be able to do it now, but we and want to make sure everybody can be taken care of before you know, we start absolutely. bringing more animals and re really take care of our land and, and plan things out responsibly. And also, we haven't taken a single donation yet. So right, this is part of your home, right? Through your is, through your home. This is like your home mortgage kind of thing, right? Yeah. And you've, you've done everything with your own dime, so. Yep. We are officially incorporated as, as a farm sanctuary. Um, we're waiting on our tax exemption status. So um, to be completely transparent and forthright, we, we are able to accept donations right now in the name of the animals, but we wanted to make sure that um, the farm and everything is pretty much restored um, you know, on our personal property before we really start to, to accept donations from you guys. So you can find more information what, down below? Yes. <laughs> Up top, down below, wherever. Up top, wherever, wherever it's linked. Yeah. And there's big. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> Who is Barefoot? That would be, that'd be Corey. You remember Corey? Corey was a zombie in one of our videos. He used a couple of zombies in our videos. He's been in a, a bunch of our videos, actually. Tick, 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 tick. Come on, tick, 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 tick. Should we go out there? Come on, tick, 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 tick. Yep. We're doing it. They're doing it. Look how cute that is. <laughs> this is what they do every night here at Mockingbird Farm Sanctuary. Bedtime! Bedtime! Oh. <laughs> you jump right in. <laughs> Come here, Bo. This is funny. Come here, Bo. Hey! Watch your foot over here. That's where they go to eat and be safe for the night. Right. Already eating. Eating their dinner, getting ready for, uh, for bed. Here, good one. You're all right, girl. Good girl. Um, there's a lot of us to go to Wegmans. Some uh, garden beefless tips in there, some peppers, onions, mushrooms, and a lemon and garlic marinade. Mm -hmm. 
So I hope you liked this video. I plan on doing more of these out here with these guys. We'll see more of your farm. Absolutely. More of John, because this is where John loves to be. On my days off, this is where I'm hanging out. This is the happy place. <laughs> We're excited to share it with you guys and tons and tons and tons more to come. And again, you can find any information on Mockingbird Farm in the description below. Watch out for zombies and we'll see you guys in the next video.